This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at acid deposition. Rainwater is naturally acidic with a pH of 5.6. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere dissolves in water to form carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. And this is responsible for the acidity of rainwater. Acid deposition has a pH of less than 5.0. There are two types of acid deposition. There's wet deposition, which includes acid rain, fog and snow. And there's dry deposition, which includes acidic gases and particles. In this video, we'll focus on wet deposition. Acid deposition is caused by acidic gases such as sulfur dioxide and the oxides of nitrogen. Man-made sources of sulfur dioxide include power stations that burn coal that contains sulfur and natural sources include volcanoes. Man-made sources of nitrogen oxides include transport, such as the internal combustion engine in a car. Natural sources of nitrogen oxides include lightning and bacteria. The acidic gases produced, such as sulfur dioxide and the oxides of nitrogen, dissolve in water to form acids such as H2SO3, which is sulfurous acid, H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, HNO2, which is nitrous acid, and HNO3, which is nitric acid. So next we look at the equations for the formation of sulfurous and sulfuric acid. In this equation, sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. A natural source of this is volcanoes. A man-made source is the combustion of coal that contains sulfur. The sulfur dioxide can then react with water to form H2SO3, which is sulfurous acid. Alternatively, the sulfur dioxide can react with molecular oxygen to form sulfur trioxide. And the sulfur trioxide can react with water to form sulfuric acid. Next, we look at the formation of nitrous and nitric acid. This reaction, which occurs at high temperatures in internal combustion engines, involves nitrogen reacting with oxygen to form nitrogen monoxide. In the next step, the nitrogen monoxide reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen dioxide. The nitrogen dioxide can then react with water to form nitric acid and nitrous acid. Alternatively, the nitrogen dioxide can react with oxygen and water to form nitric acid. So that's all from this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at the effects of acid deposition.